And now I'm going to show you how to request time off. The first thing you do is you go to the menu at the top left hand corner where the three horizontal lines are and you lift click. From there, you move your cursor to my time and to the arrow right next to it and left click. On the drop down menu, lift click on time off and go to request. This brings up a new screen for you. So first thing you want to do is look where it says time off type and there's a blank field here. You click on the little box with the magnifying glass, and left click, it brings up a box and you get uh, these selections you can make. The first selection is that that's called a bereavement leave. This is when somebody in your family has passed away and it falls under our policy. If it's approved, you can take time off. The second is catastrophic leave. This is when there's an unplanned event in your life, such as a surgery, and you do not have any PTO hours. Again, this pertains to a policy and has to be approved. The third is jury duty. Then you have PTO scheduled and PTO unscheduled. PTO scheduled is when you're requesting a day off in advance. PTO unscheduled is whenever you have actually called in sick to work for that day. So one is actually scheduled in advance, the other one is not scheduled. So I'm going to go ahead and request a day off for next week. So I left click on PTO scheduled. Now I have the option of left clicking on start request. First thing I need to do is make sure I have the right time off type selected. And it says PTO scheduled, so we're good. Then I move to the next field where it says request type. And I left click on the drop down menu. And this is where it's important to understand that if you're a 12-hour shift employee, you're going to do this a little bit different than an 8-hour shift employee. If you're a 12-hour shift employee, to take one day off, you need to left click on partial day. And then you select what day you want off. So you left click on the calendar. And let's say I want to take off on the 16th. Make sure your date's right. And then I go down here to total hours and I type in 12. That means I'm going to take off 12 hours on the 16th, which is a full shift for me if I'm a 12 hour shift employee. And next, you go to the comment section and type in your request. Now, please have the day off. If there's any other relevant information, I can put it in right there. Once I click on submit request, this sends a message to my supervisor where they can approve or deny this request and then it will be reflected their choice on my schedule. Now, let's say I'm an eight hour shift employee. I will do this a little bit different. So first thing I do is make sure I have the right time off type selected. So PTO scheduled. Then I move my cursor to start request. Let click on that. Again, double check and make sure you have the correct time off type. And then for your request type, you're going to click on full day. Make sure you have the correct date. Let's say I want to take off on the 17th. And notice it already has eight hours in the field here. That's why we do this differently for 12-hour shift employees. If you take a full day, it's going to automatically give you only eight hours. So from there, you type in your request. And then you click submit request and that goes to your supervisor. So the difference between 8-hour shift employees and 12-hour shift employees is that the 12-hour shift employee will actually select on partial day and type in that they want 12 hours. You can see me do it right here. That's the difference. As with all things, if you mess up on it, it can be fixed, so don't panic. So what if you want to take off three days in a row, four days in a row? Well, we're going to do this as block leave. So again, make sure you have the correct time off type and left click on start request. And then you're going to go to the drop down menu and you're going to click on multiple days. Now, you have a lot of stuff to do here. First, you need to pick your start date. It's best to go by the calendar. I find it's very easy that way. So let's say I want to start on the 16th. And then I want to have my last day off on the 23rd. Now let's make it easy. Let's go for the 20th. 
how many hours per day. Well, if I'm a 12 hour shift employee, I'm going to put 12 hours down. And that will give me 12 hours off every day during that duration. If I'm an 8 hour shift employee, I just type in 8. And type in your request. And again, this gets submitted to your supervisor for approval. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to get with your supervisor. You can get with Lynette Douglas, Wesley Gaynor, Donna Hamilton, and we will work with you and show you in person how to do this step by step. Thank you.